Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Fish USA video challenge. So this is the monthly video series that I do every month where I go to the Fish USA website. I pick five baits that I think should work for that particular month, tie them up on some rods, and try to go catch a fish on each one of those baits. So again, this is the month of July. As always, some of these baits I've used before, some of them are completely new, but the point is I get to pick the baits that I think should work for that particular month. So it's July, it's summertime, we're here in California. A lot of our focus is on aggressive feeding fish so we've got some top water we've got some moving baits so let's just get right into it bait number one is the terminator walking frog so a hollow bodied frog we trim the legs we're gonna be looking to fish this thing right over mats and get those big girls to come up bait number two this is a big bite baits b5 line through swim bait really cool bait that I'm excited to fish now it's interesting because it's not your traditionally rigged paddle tail swim bait this is a line through swim bait and if you notice the way this bait is made is actually with a little cavity from the nose to the bottom where you actually put your line through comes with a hook and then all you do is you take your your hook you bury that in the body you're nice and rigged. Hookup ratio this way is typically a lot better than just your single hook. I've heard of a lot of folks in the past using this method, you know, doing it custom with like pop rivets, but the nice thing about this bait is it comes ready to rig up and go out and fish. I've never fished a line through swim bait before, so it'll be interesting to see how she performs. Next bait we have another bait on top. This is the Accent Fishing Products Jacob Wheeler Buzzbait. I'm sure you guys know Jacob Wheeler. I'm sure you guys know that he absolutely crushes bass. So uh, why not have a bait in his name? So this is a buzzbait, of course. It comes with a skirt. We opted not for the skirt. What I did instead was I added a little toad on the back. This is a ribbit frog. And uh, this is right out of the package. That should get bit if they're chewing on top. So that is bait number three. Bait number four, we're going to spinning gear. This is the Z-Man TRD Craw. We are going to the Delta today. Crawfish are a primary forage on the Delta. We've got this on a little Ned rig, and that just looks fantastic. That looks good. I will admit this, I have never caught a bass on a Ned rig. I don't know if this is considered a Ned rig. It's a craw on a Ned rig hook. This should get bit if things are tough. And then bait number five, we do not have rigged up. Hopefully we get rid of that TRD craw and we can tie this on. And this is especially if the bite is really tough and I just don't want to blank. We've got a Berkeley power bait. This is called the General. This is essentially a Senko. That is our fifth and final bait for the Fish USA bait challenge for the month of July. It is 7 a.m. right now, so I am not on the water. Uh, like I said, we are fishing the Delta today. I kind of wanted to time my trip today based on the tide. It's gonna be a high tide where I'm going around 9.30. High tide at 9.30 and then it's gonna start dropping. So the current's just gonna start moving out, pushing out and the water's gonna drop. For me, that is typically a really good time to get a good bite that's the interesting thing about the delta it's a tidal fishery so there are certain bite windows which are better than others we're targeting that time frame so we got to sleep in today drink our coffee and we'll probably just get loaded up in a few and, uh, and we'll make our way to the delta and go try to catch a bass on each one of those baits i'll see you guys in a bit we are here nine o'clock on the dot tide is moving current is moving so we're going to start with a little moving something ourselves. Believe it or not, this is the bait I'm kind of most uh, excited about. This kind of action it has. Yeah, good little action. Nice paddle tail swim bait. Tide is on the move. Fish should be feeding. Yeah, right at the boat. <laughs> the swim bait. Big bite baits. Oh, forgot there's a trouble hook bait. I gotta be careful. Right at the boat. Little guy. You can see why this would be a better hookup ratio with the trouble. Not a giant, but all bass count, no size limit. On the big bite baits. M5 through line swim bait. Got the uh, skunk off the boat. Not a giant, but we'll take it. Right, before we go any further, let's. Uh, could be some fish here. Could be a little group of fish. Go with the uh, TRD craw. Man, that looks just. That looks so good. So finessey. There's a fish right there. 
This counts, guys, I swear. That counts. I know I'm gonna get some grief for this. But that fish is on the bait. It's a bass. It counts. I'm sorry. I didn't make the rule. Well, actually, I did make the rules up, but uh, I don't even know what to say. Delta Giants on the TRD Craw. But I will say this. Look at, I mean, this bait, gosh, so finessey. I've never really had a ton of confidence in a craw creature style finesse bait. I always opt for the worm, but I mean, that is, it's a nice little snack right there. You got to admit, that is two out of the five baits. Let's keep it moving. Back when we started this challenge series, uh, the first month, we missed, we missed January, so it started in February. We've only had one month, the month of May, we actually when I was back in New York, where we completed the challenge, meaning catching a bass on each one of the five baits. Only done it once, I've done four baits out of the five, but again, just one time, we've done all five, so. So far, it's looking pretty good. I think our buzz bait fish will be the hardest one to catch a fish on, to be honest. I personally am not super confident with buzz baits, but I know they catch big fish, especially on the Delta when the tide's moving like this and fish are setting up to eat. That's why we got it for this month. And it is a technique I want to get better with. These, uh, these challenges are interesting. You guys are probably familiar with like MTB or LTB challenges or slams or whatever. And uh, again, those are boxes, sub subscription boxes that uh, you don't get to pick. Obviously, I'm picking all these baits, but uh, they're, they're similar and they're good. I think they're good. They're good every once in a while because it introduces you to new baits, new techniques that you normally wouldn't try. I think as fishermen, we get comfortable and I'm guilty of this myself. We get comfortable you know, fishing baits and techniques that we're used to, that we have confidence in, and that makes perfect sense. But I know there are plenty of situations where you're, where I'm missing out by not being versatile enough with a different technique where it certainly catches more fish than what I'm doing. And I have proven that to myself with three different baits this year on the Fish USA Challenge that I normally would never have used. However, because I had them in the Fish USA Challenge, thought they should do good, they did do good, ended up gaining a, gaining a ton of confidence with them. You guys know one of them, that's that M2 finesse football jig. Won a couple tournaments or did well in a couple tournaments on that jig alone. I mean, just crazy how that has become like just one of my favorite baits. Bait number two would be the LV500. LV500 was a bait that I was familiar with, but I just didn't have confidence in fishing. And that changed quickly after, you know, we caught like 20 pounds in New York. Uh, Oh. oh no, it came off. 20 pounds in New York, like five or six times in May on the LV500. Granted, we were in an area with a lot of big fish, but it was the one bait that was catching them the best. <sighs> Dang it, I missed my buzz bait fish. Little one, but uh, it was, would have been number three. We've been on the water for about 15 minutes. Um, and then the third bait, third bait that I've gained a ton of confidence with, or a new confidence that is now part of the arsenal, is a plopper style bait. It's the Chapo, it's the Berkeley Chapo. It's basically a whopper plopper, but you know, I've heard about that thing for years and I'm sure I'm probably one of the few people that actually doesn't throw it that much or hardly at all because it just catches big fish and it catches numbers too. But that is a bait. Oh man, there's, oh. Okay, there was a fish on there. Small one, but grabbed onto the back of the tail. But anyways, that is another bait now that I'm super confident in and I know it's just another tool you know for catching fish different scenarios different tools different presentations and uh, the more tools you have the more versatile you are and the better fisherman you are it's just picking the right tools in the right situation that's the difference we're getting buzz bait bites they're just all little ones I could get away with the little ones on the swim bait and the craw it's got to be a little bit bigger for them to get a hook in them with this buzz bait but yeah three baits so far that I've used this year randomly on the Fish USA Challenge uh, that I've gained confidence with. And maybe maybe a couple from today too. I mean, this buzz bait, I would love to get good at buzz bait fishing. Just again, don't have a ton of confidence in it and that's why we're throwing it. <laughs> Little one grabbed onto it again. Gotta be a big one along here somewhere. Oh, goodness me. Another dink. <laughs> I'm almost positive that I can come through here with a Senko and get bit. Come on, guys. This could happen today. Complete the challenge. 
trying to find the right size for this buzz bay. Just getting a few bites on this, like I have so much more confidence in it than when I started. I feel like I'm fishing it more effectively. It's amazing what a couple of bites will do to your confidence with fishing a certain bait. <laughs> oh no oh no oh that was big oh god you have to tell me in the comments below what did i do wrong there guys probably did something wrong there not sure what oh bummer that that was a big fish Oh my gosh. There we go. Come in the boat. All right. Buzzbait fish. It's like my second one in my life. Not a giant, but this bait's getting hammered today. I think this might be the key bait of all the five baits we have today. I think the buzz bait is, is our best bet. Buzz bait fish. Okay. There's three of the four baits. God, I, wanna, I just want to keep throwing this bait though. All right, we're going to change over to Senko. Hmm. One of these guys. Power bait, the general, these are probably the stinkiest baits I've ever fished. Oh my god, it just smells terrible. It smells like goldfish food and like cat poop. It's just disgusting. But the fish probably like it, so whatever. So we are fishing this bait weedless, but not Texas rigged. I don't know, I just don't have a lot of confidence in a Texas rigged Sanko. I just much prefer the wacky style presentation, so we'll still use that O-ring. There's a lot of grass around here. Nice and weedless. Might as well just make some cast sitting right here. Oh, that was probably at least eight inches. Oh, there. That one right there. We had so many little ones nip at our buzz bait over here. I just don't see how we couldn't get bit with the Senko. I see a little bite right there. Yeah. <laughs> A little, little, little fish. You know what, I might have to go to a smaller hook. This hook is a little bit much for him. Even though it's weedless, I might benefit from a smaller hook. We're fishing around four inch bass. This hook is way too big for him. Go with a little uh, finesse hook. Now that should help. With the next four incher that bites, that should help. There's a fish right there. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, I know I'm gonna get some hay for this. That's, whoa. I mean, it's a future Delta stud. Man, I might for the next one, I might, I might have to put a size limit uh, or a keeper size limit for these fish because that's, that's tiny. That's, that's a baby right there. But it was on the general. It counts, four out of five fish caught on different baits. Four out of the five baits complete. We just got that frog left. And then I know an area where I'm gonna throw that frog. These fish are being really weird. Challenge complete. All right guys, Fish USA for bait challenge for July complete. We got a bunch of dinks on all five bait, baits, but hey, they're all bass and that is the point of the challenge. <laughs> Feels good, that's the second one we've completed this year. The other one was in May and this one is in July on the Delta of all places. Delta is a very tough place to catch five bass on five different baits any time of year. We're gonna keep fishing for a little bit, maybe uh, try to get a few bigger fish. Might go back and throw that buzz bait a little bit too, but uh, challenge complete. I am off the water, obviously, and it is 11 o'clock in the morning. I know I said I was gonna fish a little longer, but uh, I actually forgot I have a commitment this afternoon, so I would have only had another 30 minutes to uh, fish anyways, which is a good thing because 
We're out on the water for less than two hours and challenge complete. I know I might get some shade for, uh, you know, catching some really small fish, some dinks. I uh, did lose a pretty good one on that buzz bait, but uh, man, I'm happy. Challenge complete, second one of the year. Uh, and you know, the whole point of these challenges, not just for me, but in general, is to find new baits, new presentations you're comfortable with. And today, I gained a little bit more confidence with the buzz bait, something I actually never throw. I think that may be only one of two buzz baits I even own. As always, all the baits, all the gear used in this video, I will link in the description below. That is going to do it for today's video, the Fish USA bait challenge video for July. As always, thank you guys for watching. Tight lines, and we'll see you later.